there's quite a few varieties of breast cancer, but simply it's when an abnormal growth occurs within the, the breast tissue, forming a cancer of, of varying types and that needs very specific treatments to cure or else it can advance in stage and become life-threatening. There's an area of the breast that's rapidly growing and changing and those tissues just lost their growth control mechanisms and the moran amok can form to cancer. The signs and symptoms of breast cancer include a palpable mass or bump within the breast, skin changes around the breast, changes to the nipple areolar complex, nipple discharge, uh, and any other abnormal finding in the breast. Anyone can get breast cancer, male and uh, females included, and people of different ages too. I've seen breast cancer in the young and well as the elderly. Breast cancer in men doesn't necessarily revolve around different signs or symptoms. When a man is found to have breast cancer, typically they present with a new mass or lump within the breast uh, that grows and changes as time progresses and very firm and hard. Uh, and that then is brought to the attention of a doctor and hopefully worked up and diagnosed appropriately. Breast cancer affects one in eight women. So in general, the population has about a 12% risk of developing breast cancer. Women should get breast cancer screening starting annually after the age of 40. The early de detection of breast cancer allows for less invasive treatments, uh, a greater variety of options often, and a greater potential to prevent the spread of breast cancer elsewhere or metastatic breast cancer which is the most advanced form of breast cancer. What an individual can do to prevent breast cancer is first discuss screening with their physicians and their primary care providers so that they understand when and how often to get breast cancer screening. The second part of that would be to understand their own risk for breast cancer based on their hormonal history and family history or other factors. Other risk factors for breast cancer include things such as obesity. The increased rise of obesity in our population has led to an increased risk of breast cancer. One of the other more ancillary risks for breast cancer does include alcohol consumption. So alcohol moderation is fine, but excess alcohol use can lead to increased risk of breast cancer as well. There are some racial disparities in breast cancer. And a lot of those racial disparities are also linked to socioeconomic disparities within the healthcare system. The socioeconomic disparities that I see most often are issues around access to care and as well as educational factors such as patients not being aware of the signs and symptoms of breast cancer or not having easy access to mammograms or the uh, information that they need in order to see the physician about their complaints. Now, as far as specific breast cancers within specific minority populations, the African-American population does have an increased propensity to develop a triple negative breast cancer, which means a breast cancer that does not have any hormone receptor positivity or any response to estrogen or progesterone at all. And that can be a more aggressive type of breast cancer to treat. Breast awareness is very important. I would encourage all women and men to know and understand what their breast tissue should look and feel like so they're aware of any potential change within that breast tissue. And to reiterate, breast cancer screening is important to diagnose a breast cancer at early stage so it's at its most treatable point so that some of the other more aggressive treatments aren't necessary because we're able to catch it at an earlier point in time and potentially prevent the spread of breast cancer outside the breast which then becomes incurable.